When you need words of encouragement, you may not immediately think of quotes from Stoic philosophers. After all, being Stoic evokes thoughts of calm without emotion. However, Stoicism, the ancient school of thought, is really about self-control and discipline when the tough times come. Simply put, the goal is to reduce negative emotions and focus on what's important. Founded by the philosopher Zeno of Sidium, the Stoic philosophy was founded around 300 BC in Athens, Greece. The four tenets of this philosophy are wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice. One key aspect is the idea that while we can't control external events and circumstances, we can choose how we respond to them. In today's fast-paced world, it may be difficult to embrace adversity with happy thoughts, but even the ancient Stoic philosophers knew back then that having a bad attitude when things don't go as planned won't change things. They believed that mental preparation was needed to cope when life gives us a curveball. Despite the cultural differences between ancient philosophers and our modern experiences, their words still resonate. So, to help you achieve peace and balance, here are 75 Stoic quotes popularized by historic Stoic figures such as Marcus Aurelius, Lucius Annius Seneca, Epictetus, Zeno of Sidium, Gaius Musonius Rufus, and Diogenes. If you're looking for a set of timeless words that inspire tranquility and help you live your best life, keep reading. Focus on what you can control. Stoicism teaches us to focus our energy on things within our control, such as our thoughts, actions, and attitudes, rather than worrying about external circumstances beyond our influence. Acceptance of the present moment. Embrace the present moment fully and accept it without resistance. Stoicism emphasizes acknowledging reality as it is and finding peace within it. Practice resilience. Develop the resilience to endure hardships and setbacks. Stoicism encourages us to view challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than as insurmountable obstacles. Maintain emotional balance. Cultivate emotional equanimity by observing your reactions to events and practicing self-awareness. Stoicism teaches us to respond to situations with calmness and rationality, rather than being controlled by our emotions. Practice gratitude. Appreciate the good things in your life and focus on what you have rather than what you lack. Stoicism encourages gratitude as a powerful antidote to negative emoti. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Seneca Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Jim Rohn All men make mistakes, but a good man yields when he knows his course is wrong and repairs the evil. The only crime is pride. Sophocles It's not enough to be busy, so are the ants. The question is, what are we busy about? Henry David Thoreau When someone is properly grounded in life, they shouldn't have to look outside themselves for approval. Epictetus How long are you going to wait before you demand the best for yourself? Epictetus More is lost by indecision than wrong decision. Marcus Tullius Cicero External things are not the problem. It's your assessment of them which you can erase right now. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. It never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they cannot tell good from evil. Dwell on the beauty of life, watch the stars, and see yourself running with them. Think constantly on the changes of the elements into each other, for such thoughts wash away the dust of earthly life. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. In your actions, don't procrastinate. 
In your conversations, don't confuse. In your thoughts, don't wander. In your soul, don't be passive or aggressive. In your life, don't be all about business. Life is long if you know how to use it. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. It is the power of the mind to be unconquerable. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. No person has the power to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have and to cheerfully put to good use, Dabo. Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. How does it help to make troubles heavier by bemoaning them? We suffer more in imagination than in reality. Ignorance is the cause of fear. The whole future lies in uncertainty. Live immediately. Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. If you really want to escape the things that harass you, what you're needing is not to be in a different place, but to be a different person. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. It is difficulties that show what men are. Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control, and some things are not. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Curb your desire. Don't set your heart on so many things and you will get what you need. The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Demand not that things happen as you wish, but wish them to happen as they do, and you will go on well. The goal of life is living in agreement with nature. Better to trip with the feet than with the tongue. Man conquers the world by conquering himself. A bad feeling is a commotion of the mind repugnant to reason and against nature. Happiness is a good flow of life. Nothing is more hostile to a firm grasp on knowledge than self-deception. Follow where reason leads. Well-being is realized by small steps, but it is truly no small thing. Fate is the endless chain of causation, whereby things are, the reason or formula by which the world goes on. No loss should be more regrettable to us than losing our time, for it's irretrievable. To apply this wisdom in daily life, cultivate a habit of mindfulness and positive thinking. Challenge negative or unproductive thoughts and replace them with more constructive and optimistic ones. When faced with adversity, Try to find a silver lining or a lesson to be learned. Practicing gratitude can also shift your focus from what you lack to what you have, enhancing your overall sense of happiness. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, teaches the power of composure in the face of adversity. He suggests that the way we react to life's challenges can either amplify or diminish their impact. By maintaining a calm and composed mind, we can strip misfortune of its power to overwhelm us. Implement this teaching by staying calm and composed during difficult times. Instead of reacting impulsively to challenges, take a moment to breathe and assess the situation calmly. This approach allows for more rational and effective problem solving. Also, practicing stress relief techniques such as meditation or yoga can help maintain a serene state of mind, making it easier to navigate life's ups and downs. Epictetus the Greek Stoic philosopher, conveys the essence of action in achieving one's goals. This quote simplifies the path to accomplishment. To become something, one must engage in the actions that define it. It's a direct call to embrace practical experience over idle contemplation. Apply this wisdom by taking proactive steps towards your aspirations. If you aspire to be a writer, start writing regularly, even if it's just a small amount daily. Action breeds proficiency and confidence, turning aspirations into reality. Seneca highlights the importance of contentment. 
This quote teaches that while we can't control everything we desire, we can control our desires themselves. It encourages a focus on gratitude rather than on insatiable longing. Practice contentment by appreciating what you already have. Redirect your focus from what's missing to the abundance in your life. This shift in perspective fosters inner peace and reduces the constant chase for more. In daily life, view challenges as chances to learn about your own strengths and weaknesses. Instead of blaming circumstances, focus on how you can grow and respond effectively. This mindset fosters resilience and self-awareness. Seneca emphasizes the importance of having a clear goal or purpose. This quote suggests that without a clear destination or objective, no external conditions can be truly advantageous. Set clear goals in your life to navigate effectively. Having a sense of direction helps in making decisions and staying motivated. It turns random opportunities into meaningful progress. Marcus Aurelius suggests that history is a powerful teacher. By studying past events and patterns, we gain insights into the future. This quote encourages reflection on history to understand the cyclical nature of life and human endeavors. Apply this by learning from both personal history and broader historical events. Use past experiences to inform future decisions. Understanding historical patterns can provide guidance for navigating future challenges and opportunities. Seneca addresses the paralyzing effect of fearing death. He implies that an excessive fear of death can prevent one from truly living and embracing life's opportunities. This quote encourages embracing life fully, despite the inevitability of death. Counter the fear of death by focusing on the present and engaging in meaningful activities. Embrace risks that lead to growth. Living fully involves accepting mortality and making the most of the time we have. Epictetus urges us to live our beliefs, not just discuss them. This quote emphasizes the importance of actions over words in demonstrating Wani's values and principles. It's a call to authenticity and integrity in everyday life. Practice your values and beliefs in your daily actions. If kindness is a part of your philosophy, be consistently kind in your interactions. Let your actions reflect your beliefs, creating a life that is a true representation of your ideals. Marcus Aurelius reminds us to appreciate the gift of life. This quote encourages a sense of gratitude for every new day, recognizing life itself as a valuable opportunity. It's a perspective that fosters positivity and appreciation. Start each day with a moment of gratitude. Reflect on the positive aspects of your life, however small. This practice can shift your mindset towards positivity and help you approach each day with renewed enthusiasm and appreciation.